Hey, what's up guys? Blake from Top Dog Digital. And I want to talk about the fear of losing money and why it's holding something back. So one of the biggest issues that we have as business owners or as humans in general is fear is one of the things that significantly holds us back from profit. And why is this relatable for the drunk and rural business owners or business owners in general? Well, it's because at a certain degree, your fear is holding you back from progress in your business. The best way for me to explain this is that if you have a certain amount of capital that you're able to spend without putting your business in the red, you should be willing and patient enough to let that money work for you and help you grow your business. Now, if you do not have the capital to do something like that, then I completely understand not having the patience. And to be honest with you, you should not be marketing anyway. I've said this before in past videos. So if that's you, disregard this right now, because the last thing I need for you to do is say, all right, well, I'm not scared to lose money anymore. And you spend your last dollar and all of a sudden you don't have a business. That would be very bad advice. And I'm not here to give you guys bad advice. But if you have money set aside that you can use for marketing for your business, your lack of patience and fear of losing that money is holding you back. Because what we see a lot of times, usually from new business owners, is that they're so afraid to lose their investment that they're not willing to give the amount of time needed to let that investment actually pay off and get them a return on investment. So if you're going into marketing and you're spending a thousand bucks or two thousand bucks, whatever the case may be, in that month, and you're incredibly scared to lose that money, the chances of you giving it enough time to actually get you a return and do the things that it needs to do and will do over time are slim. Typically, those people are going to pull out before they start to see the fruits of their labor, and now all of a sudden. They cause themselves to lose the money that they've spent instead of giving it the time to start to receive a proper return on investment. If you were coming into marketing or any business and you think that you're going to spend $1,000 and every single time immediately get a 5x return or a 3x return, you are mistaken. Some of these platforms and these processes are going to take you time. It's inevitable and I don't care who you're working with. So your lack of patience is actually holding you back because that money could have gotten you a lot further, but instead you're pulling the plug on it too soon and you're not allowing it to build to the point where now all of a sudden that money that you spent is giving you that constant return on investment. So for instance, if you're running Google ads and you've ran a campaign for two weeks and you're that guy who says, well, I tried Google ads and it didn't work. You gave it two weeks. It's not enough time, it's not enough data. You, you haven't even began the process to really start structuring and putting things in place, especially if you, even if you have somebody working for you who knows Google Ads in and out, they need more time than two or three weeks, guys. You know, they're, they're building, they're, they're, they're putting the building blocks together to put you, you know, in a successful spot. And you're essentially pulling the rug out from under them before they've even gotten halfway through the process. That's why I recommend for someone who is fearful of losing that money, it's probably not a good idea to even put it at risk in the first place in your own mind. Because odds are you're going to pull out way too early. But if you can detach that emotion to money when it comes to that thousand or two thousand dollars in regards to marketing, those are the people who tend to have the most success because they're willing to trust the process. And when they look at, at everything from a mathematical standpoint and analytical, they understand that over time, that money is very low risk for them to lose. A good analogy of this would be the stock market. I like to use the stock market as an example. Um, and then when it comes to timing, I'll use the gym and fitness as an example. All right. So... You don't put your money into the stock market and then panic in two weeks when it drops down, all right? If you do, which a lot of people do, they're the ones who typically lose. 
because they're not patient enough to let the process play out. It's going to be the same thing for you guys in business and marketing as well. You have to let this process play out. And the better your time horizon and vision of time horizon is, the more likely you are to succeed and to be able to use that money and put it to work for you to help you grow your business. All right. That's why I recommend business credit a lot because if you're structured enough and financially, you know, you're in a good spot with financials and, met- and mental to where you're obviously not going to go overboard with credit, but to where you understand that you can use credit to your advantage. Not all debt is bad debt. You know, you could use a small amount of debt on a credit card with a 0% interest to 12 months and understand, okay, if all else fails and this doesn't work out for me and they call, you know, I end up spending $4,000 in the next two months or $5,000 in the next few months, whatever the case may be, that I'm positioned to where I wouldn't even have to pay that off and incur interest for another 12 months, right? So that could give you a little bit of comfort there if you have something set up like that. But the main thing is you guys are, a lot of you are not being patient enough. You're not giving it enough time on Facebook. You're not giving it enough time on Google. You're not giving it enough time for some of the strategies you're trying to do. You're reaching out to 10 property managers and you're saying, ah, it didn't work. Well, that's not enough. You know, you should, we're reaching out to 10 property managers every single day, Monday through Saturday. If we only reach out to 10, our system wouldn't work. It's not enough. It's the consistency of us doing that every single day and sending out all those messages and getting in front of all those people. That's what makes it effective. It's the process. We trust the process. And we give it enough time to let it play out. If you come within our system and in week one, you don't get a response back from a realtor or a property manager and you're panicking, I already know that you may not be our ideal client because your fear and your emotion is going to hold you back from growth. The ones who are most successful, they don't have that attachment to those dollars. They don't have that same fear. They're trusting the process and they're giving it the amount of time it needs to play out. You know, when it comes to fitness guys, you don't, you don't hop into the gym and all of a sudden you have a six pack abs. I wish that was the case. I've been working at it for months now. All right. That is not how it goes. It's not life. Everything in life, all the good things take time. This is no exception in business. It's the same way. So instead of looking for the overnight immediate result, guys, and I'm going to continue to hammer this home because nobody wants to talk about it. But it's a fact. You have to let the process play out and you have to make time an ally for you. And understand that over the course of time, you are a lot more likely for these things to lay out in succession and work for you. But if you have this attachment and this this fear of losing these amounts of money and you're putting them into marketing, you're probably never going to give it the time that it needs to give you what you could have gotten out of it in month two, month three, and month four. Because you're so focused on what happened in month one and you're using such a small amount of data to make an educated decision. Whereas in reality, if you would have given yourself three months or four months of data, you would have had a much more educated decision to make. So I hope this helps some of you. As always, if you enjoyed this content, give me a like, subscribe to the channel. I wanna do everything in my power to help you guys and bring value your way. And I hope all of you have a great day. Thanks.